You enter the order of the nights of hope and a cool spring breeze follows you, bringing with it the smell of fresh blooms. You can hear chanting in the distance. Welcome once again, my friends, to the adventures of Eärendil, High Elven Mage. He has entered this temple for a bit of meditation and prayer in preparation for his journey to the Elden Grove and the next piece of the Staff of Chaos. It's pretty cool the name of this temple, Knights of the Order of Hope, a kind of knightly monastic order. And uh, don't trouble yourself too much with uh, any thoughts of what the lore might be behind them. You can leave that up to your imagination. That's actually one of the beauties of games like this. They don't tell you everything, and some people might find that frustrating, but I think it's kind of fun to leave some things up to your imagination. In any case, it is a beautiful day here in Elden Root, near the center of Valenwood. But we are going to travel a bit to the west. I was kind of surprised that Elden Grove was so far to the west here, you know, somewhat near the coasts. This is supposedly the location of the first tree. Elden Grove. The small, overgrown entrance to the Elden Grove stands before you, guarding secrets forgotten for ages. Somewhere within its misty corridors lies the third piece of the Staff of Chaos. Well, this should be an interesting adventure. You enter Elden Grove, chilled by the mists that lend perpetual gloom to this melancholy place. You can hear things shuffling through the overgrowth, and distant growling and moaning that does not sound human at all. The Wood Elves, the Bosmer of Valenwood, have kept this place secret and safe for many, many centuries. Erendil is now one of a privileged few from the outside, or even from within Valenwood to some extent, to know the exact location of this place. I'm not sure what percentage of the Bosmer themselves know this location. I'm sure it's not all of them. Especially since if you play as a Bosmer in this game, it's not as if you already know this location. You would have to be told just like everybody else. We've encountered our first beast, a simple wolf. We have strange twitching plants. in addition to the more or less normal looking trees here. Was this truly the first, the location of the first tree in all of Tamriel? It could be. The source of all forests that came since. We have strange statues here. What kind of maze do we have in store here? And what kind of trials? Oh my! A ghost or a wraith? Let's go ahead and cast some fire. That took care of him. We are still well shielded. So we don't have too much to worry about. That nice. Oh my, another wraith. I think it died. <laughs> Possibly from its own spell. Oh, 
a well would be fun if you could interact with more of these kinds of objects, but uh, hey, it's nice to have them all the same. Another wolfie. Goodbye. Erendil takes no pleasure in slaying animals like this, but uh, they are part of this area's natural defenses, and Erendil has little choice. You're just kind of wandering. I think that's fine. I don't feel a need to be too systematic about this for now. Hmm. statues are a bit unsettling. They actually appear sometimes in the cities and towns, as you've likely noticed if you've played this game at all. But it's especially fun to see them show up here. I wonder what else this place has in store for me in terms of decorations, statues, engravings, and other relics left by elves of a bygone age. Probably try to head farther east. What is this chittering? great tree. <laughs> Many beautiful trees in this place, as one would expect. Is it possible we could get a glimpse of Tamriel's first tree. I do not know. I really don't know much about the game at this point. I have never made it this far in Arena's main quest. I've seen little hints online here and there about this place having some significance in the Elder Scrolls Online, the MMO based on Elder Scrolls lore. So they have expanded on the lore of this place somewhat, I'm sure. At this point, when this game came out, of course, the lore was all rather simple. And I'm okay with that. You know, of course, they were keeping things somewhat basic, but still... Intriguing enough that it gave you a lot of food for thought in terms of these interesting places you were exploring. The 
door. A gate, in fact. not a trap. Speaking of which, we should be saving again now and then. Who is casting spells? I heard something. Probably a wraith. Okay, where are you? Aha, a ghost. Gotcha. So there really wasn't anything special in here, was there? Huh. Just a mysterious chamber. Once used for purposes we can only guess at now. It might still be known by a few lore masters among the Wood Elves. Oh, hello. Are you trying to cast spells at me? Well, Arendil also takes no pleasure in slaying the ghosts of those who once lived, but he does what he must for the sake of his quest. Presumably these are all ghosts and wraiths left behind by wood elves, Bosmer, who had perhaps devoted their lives to the protection of this place, and they continue to be devoted even in death. Or who knows, perhaps they could be, in some cases, the souls of other adventurers who have come here with or without the blessing of the Bosmer, and met an unsavory fate. Now they haunt the place, serving, whether witting or otherwise, as part of the first tree's defenses. Now I wonder, can I just cut through here? No? Okay. So speaking of the first tree's defenses, apparently that includes having walls that are protected from magical destruction. You're hearing many interesting noises. Oh, hello there. Hmm. Another room. Probably not terribly significant, but we'll take a look.
We've been hearing bird calls, chittering creatures, moans of ghosts and wraiths, the mournful howls of wolves, many interesting things here. Now can I destroy these walls? Yes. Well that at least is something. My apologies to all the uh, Bosmer archaeologists who I'm sure would be horrified by me destroying anything here. strange calls of birds. What messages do they send? <laughs> are they trying to warn me off? Or are they warning others of my approach? Hello there. Adamantium dagger should be able to take care of you. Oh wow. Oh my goodness, that is a lot of wolves. Okay, let's see. <laughs> let's see how all of you like this spell. Fire blast. Took care of almost all of you. One was just slightly out of range. Now then. So we are near this hard border to the region. Um, I bet there's something of interest in here, but we shall see. interest in carrying any unenchanted heavy items. It's a nice bracelet, but we prefer our bracelet of intelligence. Okay. Nice little bushes here. Another well, another statue, more of these strange twitching plants. Very curious. One wonders if they and some of the other plants in this region might be capable of sending messages, communicating in ways that we normally do not attribute to plants.
might be a sentience to some of these sessile things that would surprise us. I wonder... Perhaps I want to explore this area more. If we cast light, will that do any good in terms of letting us see a little bit farther? Kind of. <laughs> yeah, it does let us see a bit farther, I guess, although I'm not sure I like the effect of that. Let's go ahead and try to rest up. sounds indeed. If I must put more undead to rest, so be it. I still have not necessarily explored this space, so we'll check that out and then move on. floating platform of some kind. Not sure that would be intentional. That may just be some kind of graphical glitch. Um, very interesting. I'll go ahead and try to jump on that here in a moment.
Okay, so now we're standing on it. And, well. We got to see the tops of those hedges, these hedge walls. <laughs> But beyond that, it did not seem to have much use. So I guess we'll explore more of this region. And if need be, at some point we'll explore more of this down south. Strange noises here. Now can we pass through these walls of stone? Good. Sometimes there are strange floating red dots, it seems. <laughs> Don't know what that's all about. if some of these trees were interactable in some way. But again, this is a relatively simple action RPG. They uh, had limited time and limited resources to uh, implement things, and uh, they couldn't get too elaborate in terms of interactability and complexity of locations and so forth. I think it'd be neat if some of the trees could talk, for example, or communicate telepathically, something like that.
Perhaps a tree could offer a puzzle. Who knows? Perhaps a tree will offer me a riddle at some point. I don't know whether this dungeon, quote-unquote, does include any riddles, but uh, presumably it probably will if previous main quest dungeons are any indication. I wonder if my actions here are already considered sacrilege. It's hard to know. Merely walking about here, wielding a sharp weapon, might be deemed offensive to some of the trees and spirits that inhabit this place. Hello. Love these wells. Wonder how old some of them might be. And these hedge walls, magically protected, were they created by the Bosmer or by the great first tree and other? special trees in this forest, or uh, perhaps a combination of both. Perhaps wood elf druids working in concert with the first tree and the various living things and spirits of this place. Who knows? Mysteries abound here. I'll check out a little bit of this area, and then we will head south. I mean, it might be mildly interesting to check out this place, but I don't expect there to be too much of interest so far. It seems like uh, there isn't a whole lot of flavor text other than that initial flavor text we got, uh, nor is there any particularly special treasure so far, but uh, we shall see. afraid of no ghosts.
Hello. just go south for a bit. Time for another fire blast. Hmm. A wolf follow me in.
strange noises.
Clever wolf to try to corner me like that. The hedge walls of this place do seem to take on kind of strange organic patterns. Does not seem like a, a layout that one would typically expect from humans or elves, for example. Though again, they may have had a hand in it. I wonder if I'm basically searching for some stairways that might lead to a deeper region. Uh, that would be typical of a lot of the dungeons, but this is not a typical dungeon. So I wonder if it has multiple levels at all, or if the staff piece might just be here on this level somewhere. Hard to say. Gone with you. Hmm. So we probably want to go all the way up there and around to go down into the high region. Fair enough. So here we go, hopefully our last delve into the unknown. Surely whatever we're searching for, we should find fairly soon.
what wraiths call to us from the mists. seen them materialize yet. Aha, uh -huh. here we are. A passage down. Now this place is interesting. We see what look like roots digging into the earth here. Very appropriate. A little later I will try to destroy some of these walls if I dare. Not sure if they be protected or not. Oof, things are getting tight. Wow. Rats. Lots of rats. Candle. Interesting. We could use a little more light. Interesting to see a hint of a uh, trapdoor, as it were, perhaps overgrown at this point. Roots sticking down from the ceiling here and there. They've done a pretty good job with the uh, effect and atmosphere, the ambiance and aesthetics of this place. Very nice indeed. Hopefully there's nothing worse than rats down here, but I don't think we shall be so lucky. Here we see a trap door that's available, but unfortunately I don't believe any of these are ever interactable in this game. <laughs> They're just kind of there for flavor. Presumably they just lead to little storage compartments, little cellars under the earth.
water. That reminds me, I believe this is the first major location in the game where one may encounter boats. That might be one over there. So this I do not have much experience with. Hopefully I won't mess anything up. I wonder if it's safe to save while swimming. Oh! So we got into the boat. To exit, we will need to jump. Very interesting. <laughs> I like this. Clever little thing they implemented. Oh, hello, zombie. I don't like dealing with zombies, so we'll go this way for now. This place is not for the claustrophobic. Try and rest in here. Perhaps I should go ahead and experiment a tiny bit with destroying walls. Though Arendil is a bit nervous to be messing with any of this natural environment. Sure enough, we can do so if that is ever needed. Good to know. So I'll just make a note. It was here that we made camp. A very strange place this is. I believe I can cast spells to some extent while I'm up here. Let's see how well that will work out. Oh my, my spell points have been drained. Okay, this is bad.
couple of ghosts. secret door. Hopefully there are no more powerful undead here. And for now, let's continue to explore this northern hallway. What is all this? Why can't I move? <laughs> what has me stuck? Not just a rat? That's funny. Interesting. Ooh, a troll. There we go. Should be truly dead. Good. If it's uh, capable of regenerating, it will be kind of twitching on the ground. send across some wander light, which I have renamed as light ranged. Here we go. Nice. That's pretty cool. Of course that stuff doesn't show up on my map, but that's fine. Um, Let's continue exploring here. Interesting little nook. Ah, we missed a secret door back there.
suppose we could get up to some wall destroying shenanigans. Revealing some water. over there. You're getting a little too excited. Uh-oh. We have used... Oh my goodness. Good thing we saved. Let's uh, use our... Well... Yeah, we could use our ring of healing or some potions of healing. That... Ooh, that ring of healing did not heal very much. You were a fool to confront me and now have paid the ultimate price. How kind of you. Thank you, Jigarthar. Well, let's uh, resume where we left off. The water looked like magma there for a moment. So this time... Let's try to get right up here. And do what we can with this guy. Gotcha. Okay, we were luckier this time around. some light on this business and check out our surroundings. Might want to see what's on the far side there. Can I cast a ranged spell while swimming? So, good. For some reason, I just assumed I couldn't do that, but uh, this game is a bit more versatile than I imagined in terms of what it lets you do while swimming or rowing a boat. Spider. successfully saved versus a spell, it seems. That's good. Where did it come from? We might soon wish we were in a boat. We'll see if we can find one up here. sometimes. Okay, who's... Oh 
mal. Silence spell prevents spell casting. How dare you silence me? Spell sword. I think I'll go back this way for a little while. Perhaps try to find another boat at some point. We'll see. There, Aaron did. to use fire from this vantage point, the non-ranged fire. Can I get him from here? Yeah. Yes, just barely. Still healthy.
Two choices of boat here, I believe. One here, one there. I'll go back to my original one. Time to head back in a different direction and explore more of this place. Here we go. Greetings, zombie. Now, I think I read that ranged weapons, including ranged spells, have some difficulty getting over the top of this boat. Uh, might as well experiment with that now. Also, I'd read that the uh, boat disappears as soon as you've uh, selected any spell. Oh, actually, that seemed to work just fine. So, uh, I guess that report of ranged spells not working well over the top of the boat was a bit exaggerated. Might depend on certain other variables, perhaps. Who knows? Attempting to get off the boat again. Oh, 
perhaps here. Create a shortcut. Rest up. Interesting shapes in some of these rooms. Can't really see it on the map, but they sometimes make use of those more diagonally slanted walls here, more so than in uh, most of the dungeons. Oh, hello, zombie. So much for you. We are still thankfully healthy. That's always a good thing. And what else can we find? nice to have our own source of arcane light here in these dank underground passages. I'm sure they smell rather musky and uh, are not the friendliest or most comfortable of places to hang out with so many rats and undead about. So now we're seeing the other side of this region, near to the entrance down to this realm.
Goodbye, rats. Give my regards to Splinter. And of course, with these slanted walls, you can go behind them somewhat. Interesting. Hello, Minotaur. Haven't seen one of you in a while. Minotaur. That seemed remarkable enough that might as well be marked in our map. We have treasure up that way. Twenty-nine gold pieces. Not a piece of the Staff of Chaos, <laughs> as one might have hoped. But uh, I did not think that was very likely. Obviously, the uh, piece of the Staff of Chaos will probably look far more dramatic and will probably be in a more dramatic-looking location with some heavy guard on duty. Come on. Secret door. More water. Silver long sword. Another boat, that's good. Always fun to be able to write on maps.
hear more minotaurs. Listen, rat, you really shouldn't be picking a fight with me. travel over water so swiftly. And let's see here. guys again. Not good. Not good at all. I'm gonna do another save here just in case. It might mean I'm headed in the right direction. Perhaps. bones on the ground here. Yet no creatures to be seen, very strange. I suppose I could plow some paths for the boat by destroying some of the floor here. But it probably, well, yeah, it probably already has a way through. So, uh, not gonna worry about that. Okay, that's interesting. What's going on up there? A room that seems completely inaccessible. Ah, we have columns here. Very cool, oh no. Lots of fireballs headed my way. Come on. Come on. Oh, what's going on? Am I kind of stuck by the boat? Okay, well, there we go, finally. Leave me alone, Wraith, come on. Don't be like this. 
very interesting spot. I like the look of this. Ooh, we are not shielded though, that's not good. Solve who I am by the riddle of this sign, and all good and evil within shall be thine. My second is performed by my first, and it is thought a thief by the marks of my whole might be caught. Who am I? My second is performed by my first, and it is thought a thief by the marks of my hole might be caught. Who am I? Okay, this is a good riddle. I didn't even mean to activate the door, but I guess I did by accident, so here we are. I mean, could it be something like steps, footsteps? First step, second step. Footsteps can help one to find a thief, possibly. Um, but a thief by the marks of my hole. Could it be something to do with fingers or hands? Clocks? Or the moon, faces of the moon. Okay, so with the way this is worded, I really do find this a bit difficult to elucidate, but maybe I'm overthinking it. Sometimes I think the writer of these riddles isn't always writing them in the most ideal way. Who knows, they might even be intentionally kind of obfuscating the answer. Um, I really think it's got to have something to do with either fingerprints or footprints. You know, so that initial thought I had about first step, second step, and the marks of a whole set of steps, I guess, <laughs> could help a thief get caught. So I am going to try step. I am not that, that may return again and again, but this door only opens for the wisest of men. We have another Minotaur here somewhere. Well, not too close anyway. I see, so the riddle pops up just by proximity. You know, there is probably a range of different words that it will accept and, uh, and all others it will not accept. It's possible that I need to word that a little bit differently. Um, and there's no penalty to guessing, so I'm going to try, instead of just step, how about footstep? Thou hast answered true, so the gate shall be raised. Discover then if thy luck should be cursed or praised. Wow. And there it is. Quite a beauty. No other foes to face. And here we have it. Oh, I take it back. There may have been a ghost or a wraith, and it may have killed itself with a spell. In any case, there it is. 
yet another piece of the staff of chaos. Now in Eärendil's hand. The third piece of the staff of chaos melds onto the other two with a low hum. The throbbing of the ebony rod is faster now, as though hungry to be reunited with its brethren. Interesting. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and pick up a little bit more loot and get on our way. Staff piece. And here was the riddle. Okay. So, yeah, I'm not terribly interested in trying to thoroughly explore this place. Um, I mean, I am mildly curious, of course, as to whether there might be other interesting things here and there, but uh, this has already been Quite a long play session. So I think it would be best to just get on our way. I will at least do this. Especially since I'm not particularly eager to pass through the hall of all those wraiths casting fire spells again. Perhaps we'll go south, more fully flesh out the, uh, the map for this region. Possibly explore it a tiny bit, but mainly we'll just be heading back. toward the stairs, and thence back out of the Elden Grove. I wonder if in this location we are in fact underneath the site of the first tree, somewhere here, or perhaps in this entire location, <laughs> depending on how large that first tree became. Okay, we have a little passage north here. Place seems deadly. Oh, come on. Might be raised here. Yeah, I think so. Something was attacking me. I mean, it seemed like my health went down. Not quite sure what to make of that. You have done well. I had thought you lost to me. The third piece of the staff is yours. 
Rumors have been whispered about in the Empire. I think Tharn senses that the pieces come together. You must take care to not be discovered by him. Your death would be most unpleasant. I have divined the location of the fourth piece of the staff. It lies in the Halls of Colossus, a structure built to honor a race of giants, though none have been seen in the land for ages. It is said that the Halls of Colossus sat perched on a cliff overlooking the Great Divide, which is along the southern edge of Tamriel. Perhaps the Halls are near that coastline. I only wish I could offer you more. Fare thee well, my friend, and find this place for the sake of our loved ones. All right. Another vision from Rhea Silmain. destination is the Halls of Colossus. Very interesting. So it's somewhere in the southern Tamriel, it sounds like. I wonder where exactly. trouble jumping out of the ship. I'll explore here a little bit. Come on. Don't be like this. Something seems to be stopping us here. Why is that? What is going on? Sometimes this game can definitely be a little clunky. Ah, that's <laughs> that's why I was blocked. I was blocked by the wraith himself. Or herself. Or themselves. I have no idea. Let's see here. Anything special? Secret doors? No? Okay. So be it. Leave it like right around here somewhere. What on earth happened? Maybe because I chose to jump out in a strange spot. It might have messed up the ceiling and the boat's location. That's pretty funny. Oh, what a silly buggy game. <laughs> I think something like that may have happened because I doubt that this hole in the ceiling is already there. I don't know. I could be wrong. I could get up there. That's well, just a spot for a candle, I suppose. Another resting spot.
Why do you choose to align against me? But it is obvious that I will destroy you! Even as each piece of the staff comes into your possession, it becomes easier to find you. And I have done just that. Face my creatures if you dare! I am through toying with you! If you say so. A troll, huh? You think that's enough to stop me? Come on, Jake Arthur. You should know better than that. Did you only send one solitary troll? Surely you must be trolling me. That seems to be it. There was one thing back up there that I was dying to see, and that is whether there's any secret within this room that's completely inaccessible. No way to get to it without magic, it would seem. So I might try to get back there to check that out at some point, hopefully with the help of a boat. Diseased? How dare you spread disease to me? Plague. That is not pleasant. <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, get rid of that, shall we? Gone.
and we'll destroy some walls. Almost. Looks like we have at least one zombie. Gotcha. A new level of experience, four bonus points. Okay. I would prefer five or six bonus points, so... Perhaps I will load. We'll try that again. Four. You must distribute all your bonus points well. We shall try again. Should also flesh out this map a little bit more once again, just to, uh, just for completeness, make sure I know I've explored this area. That looks better. Gotcha. Six bonus points, that's what I'm talking about. Now then, if we were to increase endurance, that might not make any difference at this point. Perhaps speed a little bit, just for kicks. Strength, speed, and intelligence increased. And here's how it looks with all the boosts from my items. So we could maybe use five more points in intelligence and willpower. Anyway, we're doing very well. Level 15. Not bad. And we'll be moving slightly faster now with higher speed. Can we have another boat, please? Hmm. 
a wraith. Come on. How dare you. Gotcha. Perhaps a safe spot to rest? Very good. On we go. Trying to wrap up my explorations here as quickly as I can. It is fun though, in my opinion, to just go about the careful, patient exploration of any dungeon in a well-designed RPG. And I do consider this a well-designed RPG, <laughs> despite its flaws and clunkiness here and there. I hear a door. We have a secret door. Okay then. Let's glance here a moment and then. Where is it? Thank you. 
another boat. That's good. I'll just mark this as well, why not? connect me to the area I'm hoping to get to. We'll see. How dare you, rat. I'll take him where I want to go. So here we are. <laughs> Can I destroy some walls from here? That will be one question. vantage point. What about destroying some floors? to get rid of the uh, target selection. Suddenly the boat disappeared. Maybe that means it'll be easier to target something now. Or then again, maybe not. I'll try to destroy a wall again. Ah, uh, something happened. Okay, yeah, and previously I did feel like I did seem to succeed in targeting something before as well, so... Oh, I've got a wraith right on top of me, haven't I? Um, look, 
You're causing too much trouble. Let's get rid of you. If I can. Gotcha. So whatever wall I destroyed... Okay, this is weird. I can kind of see in there. There's got to be some way to get in there. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back here to the room that held the staff or the piece of the staff of chaos. And we shall see what we can do from in there. Now I should go check out that spot too. What can I say? I'm just in an exploring mood. I destroy this wall here. Now I should be able to target those more effectively. Cool. There we go. Can I get to it? I think so. Just to be safe, I'll go back to the boat. Oops, where are we? <laughs> this way. Okay, nothing here, but I did it. Got inside. Hooray. <laughs> oh boy. Just a pointless, empty room. No, I'm not gonna mark. Come on. I'm being a little too silly here. Let's move on. some ranged fire from over here. Come on, where are you? Where are you? That might have gotten me. I think it did. Not too shabby.
Oh my. Gotcha. Oh, and you. Now we're low on spell points. Howdy, troll. Looks like you brought a putty. Two buddies. Wow. You're a resilient one. to use some potions of restore power. Okay, come on, something's going wrong here. Maybe those corpses are getting in the way of my spell somehow, I don't know. There we go. We have an enchanted buckler. Probably not as good as my silver buckler of willpower, but we'll see. And an enchanted longsword we picked up recently, that's nice. Along with a bracelet of personality. That's cool. Well, this is not an ideal place to rest, so we'll move on for now. Lots of potential places to explore, but I think we should probably move on by now. It's okay to leave some mysteries as mysteries.
Want to get back down there. So I'll loop around here, why not? Should have a nice spot to rest up ahead. Here in one of these nooks. Nice candle lit nooks. Carve our way back to the exit. That should do it. Hmm, can't destroy that. 
I'll destroy this one maybe. Ah, cannot. to use a secret door. Right over here. Somewhere out here. Where was it? Yeah, it should be here. Oh! This hollow shall be your tomb, for there is no other passage out. Should you answer correctly, you are free. Should you not, prepare to join the lost souls of Elden Grove. Elvish Mithril and Argonian Silver, crumble I can. But first I improve all created by man. I devour all things, bird and beast, serfs and kings. Though my pace is even, men curse my speed, wishing I were lazier in their hour of need. I can creep and crawl, or rush, even fly. I am all thou hast, tell me. Who am I? Hmm. Well, I'm pretty sure I know this one. Reminds me of a classic riddle from The Hobbit. Time. Time is the answer. Consider Elden Grove thy garden, come and go at thy will. Odd that the text is a little bit obscured up here by the uh, compass. I wonder if that says time is the answer indeed. Consider Elden Grove thy garden, come and go at thy will. In any case, here we go. And we'll just want to go northwest. So for a little while, we'll head north. Nice to be up above ground for a while. Oh my. We're not being greeted in very friendly ways, however. I wonder how many of these souls trapped here are here because they were unable to answer that riddle correctly. Hmm. Okay. Darn, I might have trapped myself. exactly trapped, but okay. We'll just want to go back this way a bit. I think it killed itself. Well, let's see. Yeah, I think we'll be wanting to do a lot of north and west for a little while. To ensure we have a good path through. Would be nice if we could destroy more of these walls, but we are not so lucky. Farewell, Elden Grove. You did provide a very interesting exploration experience. An interesting challenge in various ways. I 
Oops. Okay, I suppose we could just go this way instead. That should be fine. Yeah. Oops, not there. Oops, I really got turned around there. Okay. So if I'm going north... Ah, uh, yeah, I can just keep going north for a bit. The red eyes of the wolf in the mist. That was pretty cool there a moment ago. Farewell, trees of the Elden Grove. We came in peace, more or less, and we leave in peace. Again, more or less. <laughs> we certainly bear no ill will to the trees of this land. Okay, I'll just go north and around. probably carve through this at least. So that's nice. Farewell, howling wolves. Oh, I have no desire to fight you. I'm moving on. And we don't know exactly where we want to go next. But uh, just for fun, let's go ahead and travel to the lands of elsewhere. For who knows, it could be there, somewhere along this southern coast. So we will arrive first in the city-state of Torval. We'll take 23 days to travel here. Welcome to Torval, home of the finest southern wines. Be wary of our market, for those who have crossed the merchant's path have been in dire straits indeed. Okay. We are here at 2.58 in the afternoon. Why does it look dark? <laughs> have we encountered some strange bug? <laughs> Three in the afternoon, but it looks like night. Probably some buggy behavior, or one hell of a solar eclipse. We will sheathe our dagger in any case, and save our game. And I suppose we'll hope for the best. We have here a nice citizen of elsewhere. 
Who are you? Good day, High Elf. My name is Shanaud Hamaker, the city-state bodyguard. I keep the meter element out of the blank. <laughs> okay. And any rumors? I heard that some lord in a High Rock village angered his patron spirit this week. The local shaman foresees a plague over all the province within the month. Where's the nearest inn? If I could see your map, I'll show you just how close you are. Shanaud Hamakar takes a pen from his pocket. The Haunted Wharf. Okay. So it's a slight maze to get to it. Hmm? We will not see any cat-like Khajiit here. In the lands of elsewhere. In this Elder Scrolls game. None of them were portrayed as being entirely cat-like at this point. That came later. In any case, here we are at the Haunted Wharf. Cool shade and cooler drinks greet you as you make your way out of the heat <laughs> and into the Haunted Wharf, smiling at the serving wench who holds a mug of ale ready for the first thirsty man. Alright. First thirsty man or woman, I presume. Greetings, friendly people of elsewhere. If you want to hear gossip, go talk to the bartender. See if the bartender has any claret left. It's the tastiest wine in elsewhere. Looks like they'll let anyone into the haunted wharf these days. You won't find any better ale in Torval than here at the haunted wharf. Okay, I'll have to check that out. So do I want to go with an ale or a red wine? There was someone who suggested claret as being very nice, though I've heard that in many places. We'll go ahead and sample the red wine here and see what we think. You finish the red wine, thankful for a safe haven. It is impressive, maybe not the best I've ever had. We'll go ahead and get a room. For one day for now. Let's say eight gold. Thank you very much. see if we can actually find some sunshine now. I love this cheery music. Farewell. seeing the first signs of sunlight. And we are almost done for today. Southwest toward the port and ask now and then for rumors about the location of the Halls of Colossus. Pardon me, madam. Greetings, High Elf. I am Taraya Movandi, a typical mercenary, and I guess you could say I'm a killer for hire. Where is the Halls of Colossus? I don't know much about Halls of the Colossus, but something about it was mentioned by a traveler from Corinth. Maybe you should look there. Ah, Corinth. A city-state here in Elsewhere Province. So we chose well, it would seem.
suppose I'll ask one more person just for fun. Hello there, fair blue-haired Khajiit. Good day, High Elf. My name is Akar Zahan, the City-State Guild Master. I look out after the needs of the working class. Have you heard anything about the Halls of Colossus? Didn't someone unearth a clue in Corinth? i try searching near there. Someone in that city-state might have some more information. All right then. Well, we'll continue walking toward that port just for fun. But uh, we're basically done for today. So, thank you very much for watching. And please do like the video if you enjoyed it in any way. I hope you'll also subscribe so you can see more of my videos. And consider supporting me by going to patreon.com slash the drake. That helps support not only my video production, but also my indie game development. I hope you've been enjoying the adventures of Eärendil. Remember, as always, to be excellent to yourself and everyone around you. Take care, and I will see you next time.